Today I want to talk about whether the AMC board of directors, including Adam Aaron, are finally buying AMC shares. The answer is yes, but I need to explain what just happened. I also want to talk about how most hedge funds underperformed the CR 500 last year for 2023. So stay tuned and let's make some money. See a new form filing through the SEC for AMC. This one for Adam Aaron, but each of the directors or board members of AMC have a very similar form filing. Adam Aaron added and purchased 126,000 new shares of AMC stock, sold some shares, and received new restricted stock units. Let me explain what's going on here. Shares actually, they're paid majority in shares and very little cash now to actually obtain those shares as part of their salary. They have to go in and buy them and then sell them later. So what you can see here is that Adam Aon was just granted 63,177,045. Zero new restricted stock units for a total of 126,000 new shares. Adam has bought some of these shares. Adam Aon owns 70,000 more AMC shares than before. Weeks ago, because restricted stock units are issued at a price below the market value, but these directors still have to buy them, so they're still increasing their share counts. As you can see from AMC's website, every director on the board has done the same thing. He said it's literally just a paycheck. And if they didn't sell a portion, they'd be paying taxes from their own pockets, Gap Research tweeted. In case you've seen claims that Adam Aon sold shares today, he did not sell shares for the sake of selling shares. He said he and several others exercised some options. He acquired shares, but those shares had to be paid for, so he sold the shares necessary to pay and buy the new shares. The team absolutely smashed it today in the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group on L or Seals SQ Corporation. This is one of my typical breakout plays that we discussed during the morning that ran for a total of 51. Today, we can then jump into the trade and ride the stock price higher selling where during the day after 10, 10 T20 or on days like these 50 gains. Now I'm going to absolutely cover the screen and screenshots. But as I said, the team absolutely nailed it. Van made a 16 profit on Lay's Zep, took five separate trades on Lay's today, being profitable on each one of them Zach was also profitable on Lay's making another 15 as well. On top of that, we had two profitable options trades, which I called both of them on the CP500 and on Microsoft making around $350. Kevin also took the same Microsoft trade making $163 icon made $100 in two minutes up 50 or 60 and S the PI on the CP500 made over $4. Zero today. So guys, if you want to be making daily profits, making multiple profits every single day, be sure to join the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group linked in the description below as you guys know by now. Most people in the team make enough money from their very first trade, not just to cover the monthly membership, but to cover the entire lifetime membership. Now, what's interesting as well is as user of intellect tweeted 9099 of hedge funds last year for 2023, underperformed the SP500. He said, when I say retail investors have an advantage and we're well positioned to reclaim our money, he said, I really mean it. You can see this is the returns for some of the top hedge funds last year in 2023, a year when the CP500 returned over 20. So actually Discovery Capital and Barnett are the only two hedge funds that beat the set 500's returns. Every single other hedge fund out there failed to beat the CP500. All they had to do was buy shares in an SA500 EDF and leave it alone for a full year and not do anything. And they would have been one of the top earning hedge funds, but actually many of the other hedge funds out there, such as Citadel's hedge funds, actually took on losses from other areas of the market and therefore underperformed the 500 and some of those hedge funds out there, like Desha severely underperformed the CP500. As I said, this is just the top 20 funds. So many of the funds out there are going to have negative returns So it seems that actually many hedge funds out there were indeed taking significant losses, maybe on their long positions or maybe on their short positions. And that's likely why Doug C. desperately needs Gary Jenda, up replaced with Hester Pierce as Cornelius. The ape tweeted Doug Sue just called Pierce brilliant and talented by tweeting saying elections have consequences. Imagine if this brilliant, talented public servant was chair of the SEC. One can only hope and pray, he said, it will take years to undo the harm that Jindler has brought to the commission. And to Marcus, thank you for stating. It's so eloquently Commissioner Pierce, now obviously Hester Pierce, is someone that voted no on more short-selling disclosures and is absolutely someone we do not want as chair of the SEC. 
with Hester Pierce as chair of the SEC, Doug C. would be able to do whatever he wanted and be able to set the price off of any stock at whatever he chose. He'd do the exact same thing as Ken Griffin and not allow supply and demand to dictate the prices of stocks instead. He'd let short selling and himself dictate whatever price any stock should be. Now, if that sounds absolutely horrible, we need to sure that Hest Peer is not chair of the SEC. Going forward, now something interesting posted by Unusual Wells. With a number of factual sources, he said that ChatGPT will lie, cheat, and use insider trading. When under pressure to make money research shows as per the source from Live Science. Now wonder why ChatGPT and AI automated program would lie, cheat, and use insider trading to make money. Likely because ChatGPT's research shows that, that if it lies, cheats, and use insider trading in the stock market, then nothing bad is going to happen. They might receive a small speeding ticket speed bump, fine a fraction of the cost of the profits they actually made. And that's likely why they're happy to effectively lie, cheat, and steal, because they know being chat GPT knows that it won't get in trouble. And that really, to me, shows just how broken the U.S. stock market really is if an AI computer-generated program can decide that actually buying Cheating and stealing in the stock market is good because it won't be punished. Surely something is wrong. And finally, Darren Ordu Trades has tweeted this very interesting overlapping picture of the AMC chart and the Ethereum Classic chart. You can see the prices of Ethereum Classic and AMC were practically mirroring each other through 2020, 2020, 2021, 2022, and the majority of 2023 until AMC's chart flipped, not just from a similar algorithm, but to pure to manipulation. Obviously, there were many charts out there, or there are many charts out there, that look exactly the same as AMC through 2021, 2022. In 2023, many people have pointed out on Twitter and on YouTube over the years in terms of this algorithm that looks exactly the same on the daily, weekly, and monthly timeframes. This was up until a few months ago when AMC's chart saw pure manipulation and was pushed down, obviously, from this $40 region, now to below $5 per share, I actually pointed out a while ago on Twitter and on YouTube. This has also been combined with a massive, massive increase in volume at a time when the float of AMC is roughly a third the size of what it used to be. We're now seeing all-time highs in terms of volume instead of trading just a few million shares per day on AMC. AM is now regularly trading 200, 340, 50 million shares per day. The last time AMC saw this kind of volume was back in June of 2021, just for a few days and January of 2021, just for a few days as well. But AMC has been consistently trading this record high volume literally for the last few months. Single day that right there is pure manipulation and it's why AMC is differing from the Ethereum classic chart. But why did AMC need to be manipulated in such a way? Well, if you look at the Ethereum classic chart, Ethereum classic, is now finally starting to rally. Maybe the, the algorithm for Ethereum Classic is now starting to repeat itself. And maybe if Classic will be hitting new all-time highs over the next few weeks and next few months. And obviously, if that was the case for AMC or EMC does hit all-time highs over the next few days, weeks, and months, many hedge funds out there would end up going bankrupt. But guys, be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, guys, be sure to ding that notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video, cheers.